actually, we're not in London, but that's okay. We can still celebrate with tea and scones because that's what they do in London. Usually it's four o'clock. I don't know what time you guys are on, but it's five o'clock by me. Well, welcome to Sticky Fingers Live. This is, I don't even know. These are my friends. They're joining me because we're celebrating the 4th of July. And my name is Chef Penny, and I am so excited to be here with all of my friends and all of you. Yay! Who is excited about the 4th of July? Raise your hand. I know I am. What's your favorite part? Is it the barbecue? Is it the swimming? Is it the fireworks? That's not my favorite part, but I know it's my son's favorite part. He cannot wait. But I do like these cute little gnomes. That's kind of my favorite part right now. Okay, so who is excited to make scones with Sticky Fingers cooking today? Whoop, whoop. Dance party. It's one of those really good days. You know when you have like a really good day and everything's going your way? I'm sure you feel that. So I'm super excited. However, I ate one of the scones before I started. Shh, don't tell anyone. All right, so speaking of scones, we are not going to make the scones right this second. But please check in the comments, or actually it's in the details of the video, is the scone recipe. I made my scones with, of course, chocolate chips. You cannot have a scone. Well, I mean, you can if you want. Maybe you don't like chocolate chips. But scones are the best with chocolate chips. The best. That's the only way I like to make them. But maybe you prefer something like lemon zest or shredded coconut or dried blueberries, or even fresh blueberries. You can make scones in so many different ways. So feel free to play around. I love them. And you know what? Let's say you've got four kids in your family. I don't know, I'm just making that up. I have one. But let's say you have four kids in your family and they all like different things in their scones. You can separate the dough and give the dough to each kid and they can put in what they want. Scones are so versatile. I love them for that reason. So, we've got our scones. I've got five of them because I ate the sixth one, but that's okay because they were so good. All right, the first thing that we're going to make with our scones is our clotted cream. Fancy word for whipping cream, basically. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take half a cup of heavy whipping cream and put it into some sort of container. It can be a glass jar. A lot of people, when I teach this class, they have um, smoothie cups, right, with a little ball in it. I take the ball out. But honestly, any sort of container, right, any sort of jar, okay? And what you're going to do, I don't know if you guys have worked out today or not, but this is going to give you quite a workout. You are going to shake for approximately three minutes. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you and shake this whole time. But, this is the perfect time to tell you a classic Sticky Fingers joke. This one happens to be my favorite. What, oh wait, now I'm forgetting it. Huh, what do you call a berry that gets stepped on? I'll give you a minute. Toe jam! That one's my absolute favorite. And if you haven't seen the Sticky Fingers video introducing some of the chefs, I tell that joke in that, that video because it's my favorite. Okay, another one. Have you heard about the latest rock and roll band that all the bakers are talking about? They're called the Rolling Scones. I'm not sure the younger kids will get that, but all the parents will. That's a good one. Okay, my arm's about to fall off. Maybe I should switch arms. Um... But regardless, I'm not going to shake this whole time. So I'm done shaking for now. What's going to happen is at the end, you're going to actually feel, I mean, you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear it sloshing around. And what happens? It's going to stop sloshing. And when you open it up, I got a different container. Whatever. See, here's another type of container. When you open it up, it's going to, I'm getting my stuff on my computer. It's going to be thick, right? It's whipped cream. And this is when you can add stuff like if you want to add sugar or maybe some honey or maybe you want to add some cinnamon or some lemon zest, right? This is when you can add the fun stuff and you just want to mix it up, right? Now, I literally took a spoon. You see how thick that is? Right? Maybe I should try it before I put it on my scone. Mm. You know what? 
I'm going to tell you my secret. Do not tell anybody. This is only between us and the Facebook Live, which, as we know, is like everybody. Adding a little bit of vanilla to your whipped cream makes the biggest difference. The biggest difference. Also, that's probably why you like Starbucks whipped cream. That's a little secret that I know. Anyway, add some vanilla, but you can also add vanilla bean, which makes it delicious, but a little bit of sugar goes a long way with whipped cream, okay? All right, so we've got our whipped cream. Now we are gonna make our jam. Now, of course, we are celebrating 4th of July, so we need to have a couple of colors. So I've got my blueberries. Oh, I should have shown you. I'm wearing my red and blue for 4th of July with my friends. I love them. Love me some dance parties with my friends. Okay, so I've got my blueberries, okay? And I'm going to show you how I made that. But I am going to make it with raspberries this time because we needed blue and red, right? So I'm going to take a baggie. Oh, I got some whipped cream on my baggie. So I'm just going to take any baggie. Now, you can do this in a bowl with like a smasher, but the baggie is just so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to put in, oh, I should have showed you. Half a cup of raspberries. All right. Now, into this bag, you can put a little bit of sugar. I actually prefer honey. The reason I like honey is because it almost thickens it up, whereas the sugar makes the juices come out, so it gets a little too juicy. Now, this calls for approximately one teaspoon of honey. I don't know about you. If you've ever tried to measure honey, it is... Not very fun because then you just wind up scooping your finger and then you're just, all the honey is on your finger, which I guess could be fun because it's really tasty. But one teaspoon, eyeball it. Just like eyeball it, right? So here we go. So I'm literally just going to go, oh, okay, perfect. That's it. That's literally it. All right. And then I'm going to make sure the air is out of my bag. Okay. And then we got some toe jam going on, right? And I'm literally, oh. This is so therapeutic. Sorry, zoning out. <laughs> but seriously, look at that. Beautiful jam. And that was like, what, two seconds? Two seconds. Okay, so now we are going to eat our scones. So I'm going to put a scone on a plate. Let's see. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to plate it down here. So I'm going to show you what's going on see everything going on right here, right? All right, so first, well, first I'm going to put my cream on because I had some cream on my spoon. And I could show you a fancy way of putting on cream, but I don't have another spoon with me. So I'm literally just going to put a little bit of cream on top. Oh, my God, that looks so good. And I want more cream, okay? And then I'm actually going to lick the spoon because I want. I don't have another spoon. So this way I could just, like, lick it and then... Um, use my spoon for the jams. No waste, right? All right, and then, actually, this jam, um, because I kept it in the fridge, it kind of set up, so it did a really nice job of, of, um, of coagulating, basically. So you can either put the jam on the side, or let's take some of this beautiful red jam, right? Oh, boy! Nailed it! I think that looks like red, white, and blue. What do you think? What do you think? Do you love it? Okay. Would you prefer, those of you watching, type in the chat, would you prefer the red, the white, or the blue? Which camp are you in? Okay. But wait. The best part of this, the best part, because... I can't let you all off the hook without me eating some of this. Yes, I know I ate a scone. You don't have to remind me, okay? All right, so, oh, I made the bite really big. But, so I'm gonna take my scone. This bite might be too big because then I won't be able to talk afterwards, right? I just like a small bite. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. eating really closely. That was not smart on my part. I'm an actress. I should know not to eat when I'm on stage because then I, I can't talk. Anyway, so that is our delicious recipe today. And you can bet that I'm going to be finishing another one before dinner time. Just don't tell my family. Okay, so before we end today, 
If you are not familiar with Sticky Fingers Cooking, I encourage you to go to our website, stickyfingerscooking.com, and we've got something awesome going on right now, which is our summer camps. There are so many different themes, STEM, baking, um, again, <laughs> Oh, I don't know where my cheat sheet is. That's okay. Um, there are so many different themes. And you might have a pretty cool teacher, if I do say so myself. But there's so many going on. It's really fun. It's hands-on. It's all virtual. It doesn't matter where you are. Oh, and it's in the comments, which you can go check out right now. I love doing this. I hope that you've enjoyed your time. Most importantly, I hope that you have a wonderful, blessed, happy, healthy, and fun 4th of July. Be safe, be smart. Thank you for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you all next time on my next Facebook Live, whatever that may be. Otherwise, in the meantime, check out stickyfingerscooking.com and join me for a class. I'd love to have you. All right. Have a great holiday weekend. Bye.